periodically, particularly when I'm trying to build a complicated model, it's useful to be able to bring reference Im images directly into Blender as a background that I can use to guide my model construction. For example, if I want to build a penguin, I have a front and side view of my penguin here. I would like to put them on my th into my 3D viewport as reference images. To do this in Blender, I am going to need to see my properties toolbar, which is under the view menu for the, for the 3D viewport. You'll note that that is the keyboard short, shortcut is N. And if I look at this down at the bottom, there's a background images checkbox. I'm going to enable that. And I'm going to add in an image. I'm going to open up my penguin reference images. I'm going to put in my front view and I can't see it. Oh, that's frustrating. The reason I can't see it is because I am not looking at this from an axial view and I'm not looking at this from an orthographic view. So under view, I need to choose one of the axes, left, right, back, front, bottom, top, and I need to switch from perspective to orthographic uh, view. And now I can see my, see my penguin from the front in the front, in the left or right. Um, I can see him from the front from the top. This is a little bit more than I want. I just want to see him from the front in the front. So here on my image setup, I'm going to change it to a see him only from the front view. And I'm going to try and get my penguin more or less centered on the origin here. And then I'm going to add in a side view of my penguin here. So I'm going to add another image to the background here. I'm going to open up again my penguin reference images, the side view. And I see that it comes in a lot smaller, and that bugs me a little bit. I'm a little worried that as I switch between front and side view, I'm going to have some trouble building this. You'll see that they overlap. They overlap because I have not set my side view image to be viewable only from the right. So now when I look at front, I see the front. From the right, I see the right. Um, I know they're out of scale. I want to do the same thing that I did with the, with the front image, with the right image. I want to center it and I want it to the same scale handily. I'm just going to use the default cube here to mark out the top and bottom of my penguin. So top of the head to the tail is going to be marked out by the height of this cube right there, more or less as close as I can get it, close enough for government work right there. So if I switch over to the right view now, I see that is much taller than my current penguin. So I can actually adjust his scale Going to build him up a little bit here. That's pretty close. It looks like I've got him a little bit big. He's going to need to move up the y-axis a little bit. He's going to move need to move over on the y-axis a whole bunch here. And I'm just clicking, clicking, clicking. I could have clicked and dragged a little bit. I want to be careful because I can get carried away with that. But what I'm looking for here is to get this model, or this background image, lined up with the top and bottom of the penguin. So now when I look at this from the front, and from the back, or from the side, I see the same penguin and I can begin my modeling process.